guys, it's coffee time. Well, I'm concerned. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm like legit concerned about that one. I am addicted to these. Pucho? Pucho? I'm not sure how to say it. But I looked up a commercial. Okay, here's the frustrating thing. So these are the candies. I didn't realize. These are the candies that are associated with that commercial that had a lot of controversy where they brought in um, a J-pop group. I can't remember which group it was, but it was one of those bigger girl groups and had them all take one of these and then they passed it from mouth to mouth. And everybody was like, oh, because it looked like they were kissing, but they weren't actually kissing, et cetera, et cetera. So when I was looking for commercials, because I was like, I'm going to figure out how this is pronounced. I'm going to figure it out. So I'm like looking for these commercials so I can hear somebody say it. And in that commercial, first of all, it's said differently a bunch. And second of all, they're really emphasizing the end because it sounds like they're the onomatopoeia, the sound effect in Japanese for a kiss is chu. So they're like really emphasizing like the last, it was, oh, it was frustrating. It was not a successful venture for me whatsoever, but I was like, oh, well, I just know that they're really delicious. So I want to be, figure out how to find them. <laughs> Maybe, oh, we don't have an Awajimaya here, but there is a, there is a store they might have them. I noticed, I looked, because I'm a creepo, uh, they totally have other flavors. So the ones that I was given are the grape flavor, which is delicious. That's what these are. And then like a soda flavor. And uh, it's cool because the grape ones, it's like, it's taffy. And then there's, there's like a gummy, there's like a little gummy bit in there. And they're good. They're really good. And then the soda ones, instead of the gummy, they have like... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Like a, a, a soda. It like dissolves on your tongue. Like the second it hits your tongue, it dissolves. So it's like kind of interesting. But I really want to try the other flavors. I've already eaten today, just on, on its own. I've eaten um, a package and a half of the grape ones. It's a problem. But I still don't know. I know, Kat, you want to play with this really badly. Just bat that around. Go for it. Um, I really want so badly, he's doing it, I love it, I really want so badly to know how to actually pronounce it, but I may, I may never know. Here, you want to do another one? Wait, can I show him? Come on, do it! Kini! Yes! Great success, kid. Do you want another one? flawless. Really 10 out of 10. <laughs> Just amazing, amazing skills and qualities. For the next podcast, I really want to see if somebody I know has a fake beard. <laughs> but Angry Joe, Angry Joe's got more of the mustache going on, so maybe I should wait. Maybe I should wait until the next time that we have a bearded gentleman. I'm, I really want to have another girl on there. Someday, someday that will happen. We'll have another lady face on there and then people won't, they can't make the same jokes. I'll have to come up with new jokes to make. <laughs> It'll be super exciting. Oh my gosh. Speaking of on Twitter today, we got too excited, way too excited because it was suggested to me that, uh, that while Trish is in town, we do a, a coffee time together. And I was like, oh, that would be fun because I want to start like possibly having like, like guests on coffee every now and then. Uh, cause I think that it would be fun. And that way you guys can actually see the people that I'm talking about or, or just see people that, that I love that I think are cool that, yeah. Anyways. So I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So I tweeted at Trish off of that one being like, Hey, you want to do coffee? Do you like coffee? And she was like, yeah, I like coffee. But the problem is, is that, um, we slipped into caps, like caps lock immediately. And then we were just caps locking at each other. And then I think it was Avin that came in after that. And then it was Chib that came in and we were all just like caps locking at each other so hard. We were like, oh man, if only... Oh, then Crendor showed up. Oh my gosh, that's right. There was so much going on. Crendor showed up. We were like, man, where, where is Trade Chat and where is Jesse? 
And Trey didn't show up until, like, way later, and it made me laugh so hard. But when we were just petering out, Jesse was like, what is happening? Why are you... What is going on? Because if you have the Twitter app, which is why a lot of people ask me why I pay way more attention to Twitter than I do Facebook, it's because I'm away from home a lot. And the Twitter app works really well. It's, like, it's never been very buggy with me at all. The Facebook app is terrible. Terrible. It's really, really bad. So I never use it. So I'm able to kind of do Twitter stuff from my phone. But, uh, so if you have the Twitter app and if you have a smartphone, it pops up every time somebody that you follow tweets at you. (laughs) And the second that, um, I think it was Avina again that was like, oh man, if only at Jesse Cox and at Trade Chat were here. So then everyone that was after that, they got <laughs> on their phones. <laughs> so terrible. That was really fun. It was I I wanted to like I wanted to to get all of it open open up all of it as like one huge conversation and then and then save it but I didn't. I should do that at some point. Are you cold enough now? Gosh, you might not be. I don't know. Hot. Dang it. I did not calculate well. Did I heat the water up for longer than usual? It's instant coffee. Did I heat the water up for longer than usual? I might have. Because I so rarely have instant coffee that when I do... I like it because it's different, but I feel like I make it differently every time (laughs) because I wind up going, how long do I put, how long do I heat up the water? How, what do I, mm." (laughs) oops. I've also been binging on QI because if you have views, not like views, but if you have VUZ, the program, the views program, you can use it to stream things from your computer to your PS3 so you can watch it on your television. Uh, so I've been watching QI. <laughs> it's such a great show. I learned so many things. I've learned, okay, what have I learned? I've learned that um, out of every part of the the human body, um, the thing that is evolving, the most rapidly is our noses. Our noses have changed quite a bit, um, just over a few generations, which I guessed when he, I always guess it's kind of like Jeopardy. Like you have to, you have to make some sort of a guess in your mind so that when they're talking about it, you can either feel really smart or you're really dumb. But he, he said, what, what part of, uh, what part of the human body is evolving the quickest, something like that. And I was like the stomach probably because our diet has changed so much and so quickly. It wasn't, although apparently our stomachs have changed, but our noses have changed a lot. And also height has changed a lot because of diet, but the stomach is not as big of a thing. And then, um, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, somebody jokingly said, if only there was an animal that has a propeller. And then, uh, Stephen Fry was like, oh, well, you know, hippopotamuses or hippopotami, I'm not sure what the... mm, Anyway, he was saying that they use their tail as a propeller so that when they poo, that it like propels the poo away from their body and like disperses it. I was like, why? <laughs> why is that a thing? Why would they do that? I don't understand what the point of that is. Hmm. Hmm. What else did I learn? Which ones are so this is the this is the H series. For those of you who don't know what QI is, by the way, it's like this great British forum show. They're just, America doesn't really have anything that compares to the British forum show system, like Buzzcocks and, uh, QI. They're just great. So it's a, it's like a trivia show where they bring on comedians. Alan Davies is on every single episode and Stephen Fry is always the host. And then they bring on different, um, comedians or artists or, you know, actors, whatever. Um, but mostly comedians that come on and, uh, and Stephen Fry just asks them questions that has to do with a specific topic. And each season is a different letter of the alphabet. So this season is H 
And uh, they did the human body, which is where I found out about the nose thing. And this one is animals beginning with H. So hippopotamuses. What were the other ones? Oh, hoaxes. Oh, should I ruin this for you? I don't know. I don't know how many of you are going to watch QI. It's not like it's, it's not like it's a show that has, you know, a plot or anything. The, the hoaxes episode is so great because, um, Stephen Fry tells all of them that one fact that they learn is going to wind up being a hoax and that if they can guess which one it is, then they'll get extra points. So through the whole show, you're like, was that a hoax? Was that a hoax? And only two of them called out something as possibly being a hoax. And nobody got it. And I was like, oh man, what was the hoax? And then Stephen Fry was like, well, you see, saying that there was going to be a hoax was in fact the hoax because there wasn't anything that was a hoax. It was all true. And I was like, damn it, Stephen Fry, really? It was pretty funny. I... It's a great show. You learn a lot of stuff and you laugh and it's fantastic. What are they on now? They're on I because they just did the Shakespeare episode, the immortal bard episode. I was wondering why they didn't just wait, but then I was like, well, what if there are a lot of letters in the alphabet? What if they never wind up having a season for S because the show got canceled? Like that would be really sad. So I, it makes sense to me that they were like, we need to have a Shakespeare episode. This is a British show. We need a Shakespeare episode. Immortal Bard. Done. I applaud you. That was a great episode as well, by the way. Anywho, I'm going to go and continue cutting up my t-shirts. <laughs> Sherlock has been laying on my shirts like, do you need these? I'm I'm, a, I'm turning a bunch of my t-shirts into a, a blanket. I think I told you guys about that. And every time I cut one, the cat has been like, just lays on it immediately. Oh, sneeze. <coughs> Another one? Nope. Nope. Okay, I think we're good. All right. I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. It's Friday. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Mwah.